got me working out. <laughs> While we're in here, let's check out the water main. All right, so right here is your water main. This line feeds everything in the building. If you have a main water leak, or you just have a big water leak somewhere in the building, you're not sure how to shut it off, these two valves here will shut off water to the building. If you look on top of it, it has an arrow pointed to open, and an arrow pointed to shut. Open, shut. Now, if you do have a water leak, and you know where the water leak is, Follow me in here and we'll take a look at some of these isolation valves. Each one of your restrooms upstairs and downstairs has an isolation valve. Let's say you get a leak right here. If you see this valve right here, you shut it off by pulling down, you turn it on by pulling up, pushing up. If you shut this down, it's going to isolate and shut down all the water to the upstairs suite 3, I believe this is. Now if you come down here a little ways, you'll see another isolation valve. This isolation valve is going to shut off some more water up top. You've got this going all the way down this line, and you've got it going down your other lines. So if you do see a water leak somewhere, and you see a valve close to it, shut off that valve, and it should shut off the leak. If it doesn't, try the valve down line a little bit. And if all that fails, just shut off the main water main, and call C1S or VOP, and we'll get it handled for you. Thanks.